much to you. Bottom, bottom, operation. You gotta use your pen thoughts when you feel confused. Bottom, bottom, operation. Your pen thoughts goes just like this. Bottom, bottom, operation. It's never ever something you never wanna miss. Your pen thoughts, pen thoughts, you do it like this. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication. Division, addition, and last is subtraction. You don't know your pen thoughts. What's first and what's last? What's first and what's last? What's first and what's last? You don't know your pen thoughts. You can't pass my class. You can't pass my class. When you do math, you gotta work with precision. Make a decision. Left to right to multiply or you give me vision. When you do that, you gotta take action. Left to right addition, you have to rest subtraction. Use pandas to get a reaction. Pandas, pandas. My pandas goes just like this. There's never ever something you'll ever wanna miss. Pandas, pandas, you do it like this. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication. Division, addition, and last is subtraction. You don't know your pen last, what's first and what's last. What's first and what's last. You don't know your pen last, you can't pass my class. So what actually is pen last and how does it work? PEMDAS tells you which operations to perform first when you have a math sentence that has more than one operation in it. For example, if you have a math sentence like this, 5 times 3 plus 5, you have two operations, multiplication and addition. What should you do first, multiply 5 times 3 or add the 3 plus 5? Only one will give you the correct answer. If you think of your PEMDAS, you know that multiplication, the M, comes before addition, the A. So perform the multiplication first. 5 times 3 is 15. Now, rewrite the sentence 15 plus 5, which gives you an answer of 20. If you had the same sentence, 5 times 3 plus 5, but accidentally didn't follow PEMDAS and did addition first, you'd add the 3 plus 5 to get 8, and then multiply 5 times 8, which is 40, which isn't the correct answer to the sentence. That's why PEMDAS is so important. Now, let's look at a more complicated example. Suppose we have the math sentence 4 plus 5 squared minus 2 times 6 divided by 2, which is in parentheses. This sentence contains addition, an exponent, subtraction, multiplication, and parentheses. Which do you do first? Well, think of your PEMDAS. PEMDAS starts with a P, and P is for parentheses, so take care of what's in the parentheses first. In this case, it's 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Now we write the sentence as 4 plus 5 squared minus 2 times 3. So what do you do next? Think of PEMDAS again. After P for parentheses, you have an E for exponents. Are there any exponents? Yes, there's 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, or 25. Rewrite the sentence again. This time is 4 plus 25 minus 2 times 3. Now what do you do next? According to PEMDAS, you do multiplication next. Actually, multiplication and division are done left to right, whichever comes first. In this sentence, there is no division, but there is multiplication. So do 2 times 3, which equals 6. Rewrite the sentence again, this time as 4 plus 25 minus 6. Now all you have left is addition and subtraction. Even though PEMDAS doesn't show it, you should know that addition and subtraction are also performed in order from left to right. In this case, the addition is to the left, so do it first. And you get 4 plus 25, which is 29. Rewrite the sentence again, this time as 29 minus 6. Finally, you do the subtraction because it was to the right of the addition, and 29 minus 6 is 23. 23 is the answer. You follow PEMDAS and got it right. Use PEMDAS to get a solution. Use PEMDAS to get a solution. 
Use that mask to get a solution. Or else he's a cross multiplication. Let's write another pie or you division. Division, division, and division, subtraction.